was the first trading day in the new year and at intraday the index was down 0.67 percent well let's bring in temple now to give us an update on how this first trading day has fared so far hello temple good afternoon a happy new year to you so how has the first trading day in 2019 fared so far what are the numbers saying at this time Well, good afternoon, uh, Chimizan. Happy New Year to you too. Uh, thanks a great deal. But then we know the market is really looking in the red uh, the, as we speak. It's down some 0.4%. Uh, it was up. Uh, the, the losses were was really deep earlier, but then it's a streamed down to some 0.47% as of a few minutes ago when we last checked. And we know that uh, the losses cut across the oil and gas segments, the uh, banking space, and of course the industrial goods segment of the market where we've seen the likes of Dangote Cement and Wapco uh, in that industrial space really declining except for CCNN that is still uh, performing uh, well at this point in time given the M&A deal that it is having with Bua Cement Chimizu. Now if you listened to Mr. Rowan yesterday he talked about MTN being one of the brands to watch in 2019. So how expectant, going into 2019, how expectant are traders on the possibility of the MTN IPO listing on the exchange this year? I think a lot of traders here and of course dealing members of the stock exchange at large have been keeping fingers crossed on this particular uh, listing of MTN because as you know uh, it was just a few weeks ago that the uh, Central Bank of Nigeria and MTN Nigeria uh, both reached a truce on the uh, $8.1 billion uh, 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 fine that was imposed on the, some of the banks that actually, on particularly on MTN, but then uh, debited through the banks that were the receiving banks for uh, MTN. And now we know that uh, now that the truce have been reached, uh, the uh, MTN is now meant to just settle some kind of notional reversal amount of 19.2 uh, billion naira, and that uh, translates to 52.6 million dollars in dollar terms. Uh, but we know again that there is still a case between them and the federal government, uh, which was adjourned from the 8th of November to 7th of February 2019, uh, where the, the issues of withholding tax and, of course, the uh, excise duty, withholding tax to the tune of $1.3 billion. Now, that is yet to be settled, and, but we know that when that uh, is probably done in February, then we should be able to, uh, a lot of traders here, according to what they said, is that they will then become more bullish on the MTN IPO. Then, at that point in time, they can then uh, start watching out for what it will translate to. The only uh, respite that these traders basically have right now is the fact that the central bank has agreed to uh, getting some $19.2 billion by way of uh, the, uh, uh, the national reversal amount from MTN. Uh, however, uh, the CBN also talked about the fact that it is going to regularize the certificate of capital importations in respect of the uh, holders of the investments uh, that was basically done by way of private placement in 2008, and that's uh, to the tune of, I think, some $4, $4 billion. Uh, so that's basically what traders here are watching out for until we get the 7th of February uh, case against the Attorney General of the Federation sorted out before uh, they then become bullish on what their uh, uh, MTN will bring to this market. And uh, what are the factors are the traders looking for or themes? What are the developments or themes are they looking forward to this year? Basically, they're looking forward to the traditional January, January effect. Sometimes you know how it is with this market. It comes in, sometimes it doesn't. They're also looking forward to full-year audited earnings of a lot of companies uh, that have, of course, uh, going that, are, that have the 
31st of December 2018 as uh, they are uh, closing calendar year basically. Uh, they're also watching out for the M&A deal between Access Bank and Diamond Bank. Uh, as you know, the right issue will be coming up on the 1st of February uh, 2018. We also know that the board of Access Bank will have its um, meeting on the 28th of January this year. Uh, so these are sort of the uh, events that they're watching out for. Uh, externally, uh, that's in the global space, they are watching out for uh, hike in interest rates uh, from a lot of the advanced economies. Central banks across the globe are expected to this year increase interest rates as a result of the uh, kind of market sentiments that we are seeing playing out in emerging markets. And then we'll also expect the impacts of the crude oil, lower crude oil prices uh, in this market. All of that is going to bring about some kind, some kind of um, portfolio rebalancing in the Nigerian market here. Yeah. And you referenced what uh, uh, economist uh, Mr. Bismarck Rewani talked about on the show yesterday on Business Morning, uh, where he talked about the fact that there will be some kind of uh, liquidity in this market sometimes post-election. At this point in time, it is expected that with low prices, a lot of investors will take advantage. Um, basically, the domestic investors will come in more at this point in time, uh, positioning for uh, the, the post-election time when we know that, well, at that point in time, the foreign investors or offshore investors would have set in to the market again to then show off the prices of a uh, lot of the uh, uh, companies tra tradable here in the market. At that point in time, you know a lot of domestic investors, whether okay. retail or corporates or even the uh, institutional players like the uh, pension fund administrators will then be considering, you know, taking profit in the market, Shimizu. All right, thank you. Well, let's look forward to a better year, Temple. Thank you. And finally, Niger expects economic growth to rise to 6.5% in 2019 from 5.2% last year, owing in part to significant investments in the oil sector. In his New Year message, the President, Mahmoud Isofo, said the oil sector will receive $4 billion dollar in investment over the next two years. Niger wants to expand its oil sector in part to make up for low prices for uranium, of which it is one of the world's leading producers. And that's it on the program. Thank you for watching. I'm Chimezie Obi. Uwabu.